Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I have a brand new story time. We're going to be talking about why I chose to buy and build my gaming PC. This is probably going to be a good topic. I hope that a lot of people are interested in this. And if you're a newcomer, don't forget to subscribe. So, let me take you back to my senior year of high school. And if you guys don't know, I'm in my third year of college right now. Technically the second, because the first year didn't really count towards anything. But back at my senior year, I was like, you know what? I I want a computer. I want something. You know, I already had my laptop, which was a great laptop. But I wanted to have either a desktop or a better laptop. And I wasn't too sure what I wanted. Um, I was in the air of an iMac. I also was thinking about getting... Um, a gaming desktop. I think I was looking at the Alienware uh, pre builts I don't know which one at this time. I think it might have had a different name back then. And then my third option was to be to build and buy or buy and build. And <clears throat> I chose to buy and build because of, you know, a lot of factors, right? I chose to pick out all the pieces. You know, I did a ton of research and I found out that I would save money and I would get a better computer um, other than the, you know, Alienware, like versus the Alienware to a built computer. I was able to get more bang for the buck and I was actually able to pick up another monitor so I could have dual displays um, with this setup. And that's something I wasn't going to be able to do with the Alienware. So that was definitely my number one choice. And then right next to it was an iMac. Now, I love Apple. I think Apple's one of the greatest brands out there just because of their vision uh, of, of the way electronics should work. But that's besides the point. You know, I, I did choose to build the gaming desktop. But let me tell you about a little story that happened along that, that path of, of buying the desktop, right? So I bought using Amazon and Newegg. I think those are the two websites that I used to get um, pieces for the computer. And uh, funny enough, I only thing I got on Amazon, I believe, was the monitor and maybe a mouse, something like that. I think it was like the monitor, the mouse, or the monitor and the keyboard. It was like two things on Amazon, but everything else, like the bulk of the purchase, came from Newegg. So in Newegg, they allow you to use PayPal, right? So I, uh, you know, I typed in my PayPal, logged into the PayPal you know, set everything up, right? So I, I'm buying, I'm looking, making sure, you know, checking that list twice, making sure I got everything. I purchase it, get the email that says like, oh, thanks for purchasing this, you know, from Best Buy. And, um, you know, my, my shipping came, I think I, I ordered um, expedited shipping or whatever it is for like the, not the fastest, but the second fastest and it would group it. Great purchase. I, I couldn't wait, honestly. I could have waited another week, but... So I ordered that, right? I ordered that and I went straight to Amazon, got the monitor and the keyboard or the monitor and the mouse. I know the monitor came from there, but there was like one other thing that also came from Amazon. So I purchased that and, you know, uh, half a week comes, you know, for maybe three or four days and I, I start receiving my boxes and I get the bulk of the build from the boxes. The only thing, I, I already had the monitor because two days shipping on the monitor and the keyboard so I pretty much had everything I think I was missing one more thing from Best Buy or not Best Buy but, but Newegg but it wasn't anything you know impeding the build so I started building right I, I built the computer it took me all of like two and a half three hours maybe and um, put it together got into my room got everything set up right so I'm gaming on this for about a week now. So I've had it for about a week and I'm checking my bank account and I'm like, man, I'm doing good after that purchase, right? Like, I'm like, man, I got, I got some money. I can like upgrade. I could probably get like another monitor or something else. And I actually look and I go back to PayPal and it's like, was not able to process this payment, it terminated or something like that. And, and, and my PayPal and bank account got unlinked basically like they it, they weren't together and at that moment i was like oh my i just got this computer for free you know like i was like kind of pumped and i was like okay okay i'll 
kind of look into it because you know I don't want someone to come into the house like well we got to pack up the computer you didn't buy it so I, I looked into it right I called my bank and they're like no we don't see any purchase uh coming out of this at all so uh we do see where uh PayPal let your account go like it's no longer linked but that's all we see and then I called PayPal and PayPal was like yeah, we see something for Best Buy, but it looks like you are not, I keep calling it Best Buy, Newegg. It's like, oh, it looks like you uh, canceled it. And I was like, well, I could I could be dishonest right now and, and take something, or I could tell you what happened. So I ended up telling them what happened. I know, I almost got my computer for free. I, I, I mean, I did, and then I said that I didn't, and then they took the money, and then guess what? Now my bank and PayPal can never be linked together again. It always happens like that. I don't, like, every time I link it, 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 it unlinks. Just like that, back-to-back. Back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit of World at War customs, uh, not even customs, I mean, it's just for a rocked spawn room challenge, round six. What's up? Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace. Who doesn't want to see their name at the end of every video? Make sure to check out the Patreon link in the description if you would like to be a part of the club.